Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. I am Twisted Logic, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the importance of a panic room and a atom smasher. If you enjoyed this video, um, let me know in the comments, press like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. I'm going to be making um, videos on DF Hack, tips and tricks, some cool ideas for your fortress, and um, some more tutorial videos. Um, for this particular one, we're going to get right into it. So right now I have um, all of my dwarves dump dumping the corpses into the garbage dump. Um, in order to set this up automatically, you press O for orders, you press R for refuse, and you press C to either save or dump corpses. Um, you can do this also with um, with skulls, which I don't recommend. You can do this with bones, shells, hair, skin, and other. I normally only um, dump corpses, other, and sometimes hair and wool, um, sometimes skins, depending on um, what my fortress is doing at the time. If you press R, the dwarves will completely re ignore refuse, and sometimes you may want that to happen, sometimes you don't. If you're having a problem where dwarves are ignoring refuse, that's where you want to go. So you press O, lowercase, R for refuse, and then R again to toggle refuse collection on or off. Now the reason for a garbage dump that's set up in its own room with uh, three bridges and a lever is to take those games, per those items permanently out of the game. Each item in Dwarf Fortress has a unique memory address. It's got um, a significant amount of data per item. If you if you go into the details of an item, it has a uh, color. It's got a temperature. It's got a material. It's got um, a durability usually um, so it's a little bit more than a few uh, bytes uh, I don't I don't expect it to be more than 50 bytes per item um, but these grow over time and that's what leads to an FPS death now right now my dwarves are filling the they're filling the atom smasher with um, the the refuse and over on the left here we have the um, panic room the panic room is a way of keeping an inventory of materials that your dwarves are going to want when they have a strange mood but you're going to keep it closed off normally except when you're filling it each item in this and I'll go down the list of what you're going to need um, for the strange moods you're going to, um, each each item in this list has a has its own stockpile that takes from another stockpile in the fortress to fill it. So you have a, a stockpile of stone. You have a stone blocks stockpile. You have a metal blocks stockpile. Um, wood, metal bars, cut and uncut gems, green glass, clear glass, and crystal glass, bones and shells leather and all three types of cloth plus skulls you may want to set this up if you have an area that uh, doesn't have access to many to wood or um, if you want to keep some metal bars out of the way if you're if you have a limited metal and um, the way you do that is you dig the room out you put a bridge in and a lever and if you pull that lever after the bridge is linked that room is cut off from your fortress. Now, you you forget about that. You kind of leave it there. And when you have a strange mood, if for some reason one of your dwarves with the strange mood, strange mood is not picking up or not going out to look for those items, that's when you would open up the panic room. Because maybe you ran out of wood. Maybe you made too many barrels or bins and um, there's no more wood in your fortress or on or he, that that particular dwarf has access to 
it's gone. So now you open your panic room and they can access that. And we're just gonna pull the lever for the Atom Smasher. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed the video and if that was useful information to you, I'm gonna be doing more videos. Um, if you'd subscribe and hit the notification, you'll see when the other videos come out. They're gonna be about um, other tips and tricks some cool ideas that you can do in your fortress, DF hack commands, and I hope you enjoy that.